Uh, that's what we do, man. And here we go, the countdown. Craft with that weird-ass get-your-game-on thing. I don't know what the hell he's talking about. My apologies to, <laughs> my apologies to the OU guys. Get he says that game every on. game. I still don't know what it means. Uh, he isn't trolling you. He's actually thinking he's saying good luck, have fun. Uh, but whatever. You know, some people are just... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to describe them. And I cannot control N in this one, so I do apologize right away, but we will do our best to remind you who's who. You want to do the uh, intros, or shall I? I'll tell you what, I'll take OU, you take TU. How's All that right. sound? TU, uh, spawning in the bottom left position, we have the purple Zerg Carb. And spawning in the top left position, the green Protoss Croft, or Craft as we will probably refer to him in this game. Mac and cheese, baby. And in the top top left or top right-ish, very top of the map, we've got Cragfire, team lead for OU here as the blue Zerg. And in the right here, we have a red Terran Imada coming out for OU. See if we get some good games from both players, or both teams, rather. Yep, and there's just going to be so much going on, I have a feeling we're not going to be able to stop talking about this one. <laughs> oh, no way. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and start. Got an interesting supply depot placement coming down from Imada here. Uh, I it looks like it would have been a pylon perfectly placed if it had a... But, uh, uh, you never know. Uh, bunkers, I take this back. He's fighting a Protoss and Terran. This is probably the smart move here. Don't stick your buildings up front and let him get picked off. Or, well, damn it, he's playing a fucking Zerg and a Protoss, rather. <laughs> but, oh, geez, uh, there, there, there goes his barracks right up front uh, where you said not to put it. So, um, that strategy quickly getting shut down. Well, I'm an idiot. He's fighting a Zerg. He's doing the smart thing here. Oh, we've got a two racks coming out from Imada here. Uh, I think we're going to see some early game plans here. We've got the uh, extractor trick coming out of Cragfire here. Or not extractor trick. Yeah, I know. Extractor trick in the spawning pool coming out. We're going to see some early aggression. Uh, high, high marine count. High Zergling count coming out of uh, team for OU this game. Uh, really, really interested to see how TU responds to this. I hope they have scouted and they know it's coming their yep. way. There's that uh, drone sitting down there in the... Uh, Terran's base, and he should be able to see. Yeah, he does see both those racks is going down. They're gonna know that's coming right away. And the first batch of Zerglings coming out for OU here. Uh, man, we are just jumping right into game two or game four rather, and the gateway just now morphing in. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, lots of Zerglings coming out. The Marine pressure is shortly and no units whatsoever for TU. This is not looking good at all. Uh, you know, you never know. It's just, as long as they react appropriately, I wouldn't be too worried about it. But you've got Yama Yamada doing the right thing, bringing in SEVs here. He's got the Marines shortly behind. Uh, this is going to be tough to hold off. they really got to conjunct their forces here and uh, not get split. If they can force the pickoff and force the pressure onto one base here, uh, they should have been in a really tough position. Yeah, we got one spine crawler going down in the Zerg base and four Zerglings coming out. Not sure if it's going to be enough, especially with this bunker rush coming in here. And it looks like, yeah, they're going to go straight for Carb in this situation. Especially, I mean, he can't wall, so definitely going to be effective. And Carb trying to work his way around to get that SCV, but loses a lot of lings in the process. Yeah, you know, I would have just held back. The bunker can't get too close because of the creep. Wait for that spine crawler to finish. Hold back. Wait for your support. Uh, you know, that's mainly what these bunkers are going to do, is going to cut their line and in half Kraft has to watch out here. He's got his one zealot in there, but he might uh, lose that if he's not careful. A lot you of know, Zerglings, few Marines. You know, Protoss desperately trying to get warp gates in. He's got the gateways coming in. He knows and Zerg is going to be in trouble Zerg here. just throwing his Zerglings and Queen out there. Uh, and takes out the SCV. Oh, oh loses, loses the Queen. Unfortunate. But yeah, an endless wave of Zerglings and Marines coming in. They are going for this early pressure. They want to end it. Can TU respond appropriately? Uh, targeting firing that pylon. If that goes down, it is not looking good. Switching pressure from Zerg to Protoss. Uh, man, it gets the pylon. This is not good. This is insane this early is pressure. Not good at all. Craft is supply blocked. Only going to be able to get out that one Zealot. Trying to chrono boost out whatever he can. But uh, this is just going downhill fast fast for TU. Really needed to see Kraft pull off all the probes there. You know, you gotta fight together. That is the key of 2v2. You cannot let your armies be split like this. Uh, you know, Carb coming in here, throwing off with the wave of Zerglings that he could, trying to help out. Banelings morphing in. That could turn the tide here. They're all all, all light armored units, but Kraft just getting demolished. I mean, we've only got two Banelings coming in. I don't know if it's gonna be enough for now, but 
still. The that's damage has definitely been done at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that's all they really had to do. As long as they can deal that initial wave of damage here, in which they did, they absolutely. And there go it. two banelings oh. on one marine. No, Worst that was not what needed scenario. to happen there. Miss micro. Finally getting his gateways repowered, only to have it be taken right back out. Uh, like you said, the damage has been dealt. The Zergling Marine Death Wave will not stop. Um, I think they've got this sewn up quite nicely. Uh, back home, sitting with a pretty worked account, adding on more racks. And the Bane no was able to get no off gas. some nice hits, but still, I don't think it's going to be enough. Hey, you know, it ain't over till it's over, but uh, I'm... it's not looking good. Sometimes it may be over before it actually is and over, though. There comes the supply block for... Um, Harp. Oh man, these bandlings have got to be heroes. Oh, you know, nope, man, no. it's micro in the attack move. Not gonna work. Gonna and the stream does not stop. If you look at the mini map, you see the blue and red just coming right across the middle there, rallied right in between the two bases. A valiant, not even worried for Protoss. A valiant attempt here to try and hang in there, but this one's over. This is too much. You know, I thought they might have scouted it, I thought they might have seen it, but they just did not react in time. The minute they saw those two racks, and there's the GG from Trinity. Uh, good game, OU. Tremendous two racks, Ling pressure, uh, well executed. Uh, couldn't ask for any more.